What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody, and today we have a new product for you here. We have the 2023 Prism Hobby Mega Boxes. Very excited for this. These cannot be found at uh, your local Walmart or Target. You're only gonna be able to find these on online retailers. I bought this off of David Adams for $110, so almost twice as expensive as the mega boxes that you'll find at your uh, Target and Walmart. We've already opened the Hobby Blaster boxes of this, so if you wanna go check that out, by all means, go check it out. But again, the speculation of this was these were supposed to be Fanatics potentially released, exclusive releases, but Prism didn't want, or Panini didn't want to have that happen anymore, so they just sent these to a bunch of the big online retailers and some local card shops as well. So I got my hand on these. These are gonna have the purple Pulsar Prisms and the price point. You might be thinking, why the heck are you spending $110 when you can get mega boxes in, you know, that you see in the back here for 60? Well, I went online, checked, you know, comp some prices. The Walmart Green Pulsar uh, in the back here, CJ Strouds are going from anywhere from $150 all the way up to $225. The purple Pulsar Prisms that you can pull out of here those CJ Strouds are going for $5.55, and I saw one sold for $6.50. There's not that many right now out, so I'm sure that price will drop. But if you're going to spend double the money, you're going to want to obviously try to get double the return. And it looks like these are actually, you know, the CJ Strouds at least out of these are going for quite a bit more than double. So it might be worth it to get your hand on these if you can. Everything else in here is gonna be very similar. So we are pulling still five pulse, uh, purple Pulsars. We're gonna find one MIM card in here on box uh, or per average. So that's another potential chance of hitting a big CJ Stroud. Three silver prisms. I felt like, yep, three silver prisms on the Walmart as well. For some reason, I thought it was maybe two. And then on the back, you're gonna see all pretty much the same thing. The black and red checkerboard is still possible to pull here. Press proofs as well, and no autographs in this one. So other than that, it's all about the same. We are gonna rip into this and see what we can find inside this bad boy. But let me know what you guys think about this. Are you a fan of having you know, a product that is harder to get and, you know, I don't know, maybe I guess some people might think the purple pul Pulsars look better. I haven't seen them obviously in person, so I'll give you my feedback. They are kind of sweet looking packs with the red and blue on them. But uh, it looks like it just kind of was like, hey, we're gonna charge soup a lot more for pretty much the same exact product. The boxes are gonna be shaped a little bit differently. And because we're gonna charge more for it, people are gonna, you know, basically think they're more valuable, which, I guess is one strategy. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that. And we will rip right into the first pack. Seven cards per pack, six packs. And we have our MIM card right off the bat in the first pack here. And it looks like a silver too. All right, all these are gonna be very similar. And our silver, Vikings, not a rookie. John Randall's gonna be our silver. From the back, we have our first rookie, Luke. Our next rookie will be Jaron Hall, okay, our first rookie quarterback. And this looks like Panther colors. Bryce Young, nice. Look at that. Okay, I stand corrected. Um, these look sick. I, I am much, I mean, I, I do think maybe the purple goes better with the light blue, but I am uh, much inclined to like this a lot more than the green pulsars. This looks very, very nice. Give me one second, I'm gonna grab some thick sleeves. All right, I kind of forgot that there were MIM cards in here, so my apologies, and uh, I mean, that looks sick. So we'll get it in its sleeve here, get a top loader on it, and uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know what this is going for. Very curious to see kind of the comps. All right, hold on one second. And you're struggling to get it in there. Come on. It's getting caught on something. I'm pulling a sage right now. I'm pulling a silver sage. There we go. All right, our first, we'll pull this way closer. These are way far back. There we go. Our first card there, Bryce Young. Very nice looking on the purple and light blue. 
All right, AJ Terrell, Cooper, Trey Lance. Ooh, what would this? What was this gonna be? Huh? Two hundred and fifty points. You can't pull. All right, we'll see what that ends up being. Because you can't pull autographs out of here. So very curious as to what that was going what you know, we'll count up at the end. Here here is our second purple pulsar. You can see it what it looks like on the base with uh Stevenson here. And then our rookies on the back are gonna be Nolan Smith and a CJ Stroud. Wow, okay, this pack is sick. This is a really good box right now. Now granted, that doesn't mean every box in this product is gonna be incredible, but this one right here has been uh, very good to me so far, pulling now Bryce Young and CJ Stroud out of it. The centering on it looks pretty good as well. But I'm very curious as to what those points are because, hmm. We're gonna we're gonna see at the end if we get all our sil silvers. There's another silver, and our first insert is in the back there. Emmett Smith, Robert Woods. Here we go, silver bears. DJ Moore is gonna be the silver, and Bills rookie Dalton. Ah, Justin Shorter. Okay. I also don't think this counts as one of the purple pulsars either. Tajay Spears and a. Jalen Waddle on the prison break. Be cool to get a purple pulsar uh, insert. I wonder if they do that as well. If they make, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming, Nick, the inserts would be purple pulsar as well, if you can get it. Okay, Jordan Poyer, Marcus Allen. Not a silver here. Okay, here we go. Purple pulsar, come on. Raiders, not a rookie. Jacoby Myers. Chargers rookie, Thule, Panthers rookie, Mingo, and a kid reporter. All right, we are down to the final two packs here. So this is what I'll say for it. I think, you know, if you are wanting to just have fun ripping cards, I don't think necessarily this product makes sense to buy because all you're basically doing is you're increasing how much money you have to put into the product to potentially increase how much money you get out. But I believe the floor is going to be basically the same for both products. You can strike out on this product and you can pull not great guys on the big cards, you know, on the big slots in this. And the floor is going to be exactly pretty much the same, right? I don't think a green pulsar of, you know, let me just pull someone here. I don't think a Jacoby Myers purple pulsar is really going to make it make sense to go with this product over the green pulsar. But if you are curious about, you know, getting those big whales and trying to hit a massive card, because I'm, I'm assuming this Bryce Young card, this card might be close to, I don't know, 60 bucks, where the green pulsar might be only 20. If you're trying to get after the big whales, then, uh, you know, this might make sense for you to go for. Curtis Samuel, all right, another silver. Raiders rookie, Aiden, there we go. People are doubting this guy, and I'm telling you right now, that's not smart. Don't doubt Aiden O'Connell. Okay, Purple Pulsar, Browns, not a rookie, Kareem Hunt. I'm very excited to see what ends up happening for Aiden O'Connell next season. As you guys know, me and Kelsey are big Raiders fans. Kelsey's going to try out for the team again to see if she cheers for one more year out there in Las Vegas. So if you guys, if she does make the team and you go to a Raiders game, you can look for uh, Casey Kelsey right there on the field. All right, Kareem Hunt is gonna be our purple Pulsar. Then we got Christian Gonzalez followed by Zach Charbonnet. Final pack, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, thank you guys so much. As you know, this channel goes as far as you guys take it and as far as the cards take it, so we appreciate it. It's always fun ripping these uh, these big mega boxes, seeing what's kind of inside, what we can pull. We might do a video where we do a mega box of each, right? Like a mega box from Walmart, a mega box from Target, and a mega box 
uh, a hobby mega box and see which one turns out the best. Last pack though, let's see. Haven't pulled an Anthony Richardson. That would be fun. A Puka also would be incredible if we pulled it. And then I'm also curious to see, did we get everything they say that we're supposed to get? We'll pull the green Pulsar at the end. We get one more insert and we get a Bijan Robinson on the fireworks. Our last rookie is going to be Rasheed Rice. Wow, we did really good with some of these rookie hits. And Vikings rookie, Jordan Addison. I mean, if this is Jordan Addison, this is an incredible box. It looks like him. Wow, this, is inc this was an incredible box. This was a very good box. Uh, very good box. But we're going to do a quick review of everything that we got. And I'll kind of just show you guys again, like, yes, this is incredible. This is great. But you can swing and a miss on these, right? So let's let's see if we got all of our silvers. We were supposed to get three silvers. And we were supposed to get five pul purple pulsars. So there was one. There's two. There's three. There's one silver. There's four pulsars. There's two silvers. All right, so we got our two silvers. And then we got a third silver. Or sorry, a fifth silver or purple pulsar. Yeah, so we got everything. So I have no idea what those points were. Does anyone have any clue what those points were? Because we got everything it said we were supposed to get. We got our MIM card and everything. So Aiden O'Connell on the silver. We got CJ Stroud base. We have a Jordan Addison on the purple pulsar here. And then we have a Bryce Young also on the purple pulsar MIM rookie gear card. But you can see, I mean, this is exactly the same format as Walmart and Target. You're gonna get five pair, you're gonna get the five parallels. You know, whether it's the purple pulsar, the pink, or the green pulsars. And then you're going to get a MIM card on average. And then you're going to get your silvers. If we just switch out this card, let's say instead of Bryce Young, let's say it was Yaya Diaby. Instead of Jordan Addison, let's say it was, um, I don't know. I don't want to throw any more people under the bus. But throw these two big names out. Th get rid of CJ Stroud. Give me another guy. And uh, this pack is, is very low floor. And I spent $100. I spent you know, 110 115 I spent double on it. So be wary on it. Understand the risk of what you're basically doing is you're just trying. You're not, you're not increasing the odds of getting more uh, parallels or getting an autograph. You're not increasing anything. There's no difference in this. All it is is this card. And if you think this is sick, I mean, obviously – color match, Jordan Addison, yes, it's very sick, then go for it. But if you don't, then I would stay away from this one. And I would just stick with the Megas or the Blasters. Uh, you can rip a lot more of those. Maybe, you know, the chances for hitting a CJ Stroud Silver at the end of the day is the same in this and the same as the Megas. So if that's what you're after, go for it. But hopefully this was uh, uh, gave you guys a little insight of what these boxes look like. Let me know, do you think they should do more of these like hobby boxes where they just increase the value of the box but don't really add anything different? It's just a different uh, parallel uh, or a different prism card, whatever you want to call it. Let me know your thoughts and uh, we'll see you guys next time. My microphone was not on. I just realized that. Keep ripping them packs.